Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a highly requested video. In my last two videos, it was my spring haul and it was a vlog. I was wearing this makeup look and so many of you requested it and asked me if I could do a video on it. So I am here today to share with you how I got this look. I think it is the perfect kittenish, bronzy, bombshell look for spring and summer. And I am using the Jessie palette by Jessie James Decker and Alexa Persico Cosmetics. It's my first time trying any of Alexa Persico's cosmetics or any of her products. I honestly had never heard of that line before until Jessie did her collab. And I love Jessie James Decker. I love her show. I follow her on Instagram. I think she's super relatable and she's so beautiful. She always has on the cutest outfits and her hair and her makeup are always on point. So I wanted to try this out. I actually got it on the second restock. It sold out super fast the first time and I didn't get a chance to get it. So I signed up for the email notifications and I was able to get it on the second restock. It's currently sold out, but they are restocking again very, very soon. So I'm going to have a link down below where you can go to the Alexa Persico website and you can sign up for email notifications for when this is back in stock because it's going to sell out very fast and you guys are going to want to get this palette for spring and summer. It has the perfect bronzy colors in it for spring and summer. You've got four mattes and four shimmers and they are amazing, amazing quality. So I'm going to quit rambling and I'm going to go ahead and get into the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get started. So I already primed my face using the Laura Mercier Hydrating Foundation Primer. And next I'm going to go in with foundation. For that, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I'm in the shade 4.5, but I still have a little bit of self tan left over. So I'm going to mix a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is in the shade 322 for when I'm like super, super dark, but I can um, easily mix it to customize other shades. And these two make a really pretty combo. I'm going to start by dotting the Luminous Silk all over. And then I'm taking just a little bit of the Fit Me so that um, when I blend it out, it matches me just a little bit better. And then I'm gonna blend all that in with my Real Techniques sponge. I'm still really enjoying this little sponge. For concealer, I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape. Mine is in the shade Light. Blend that in. I actually filmed this video yesterday but the lighting was really weird. It made everything look really, really warm. I'm not sure why. Sometimes the, this camera does that like with autofocus, it'll, um, the lighting will be weird. So I hated it. So I'm redoing it today. Now I'm just gonna set all of that concealer using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And then to set the rest of my face, I'm using the Benefit Hello Flawless Powder. This is in the shade Petal. Um, I like these powders because they're really versatile depending on like when I'm self-tanned or not. I can really get away with a few different shades. I can still use this color when I am tan. Um, I can also use the shade Champagne, which I think is the next shade up dark wise from this one. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. And today I'm using the NYX eyebrow pencil. It's the micro brow in the shade Ash Brown. I used to use this all the time. And when I was at Ulta the other day, I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I really like to use this pencil, especially in the spring and summer when it's warmer out and in the summer when I'm going to the pool and stuff. Cause typically I use a powder and obviously when it's really hot out or if you're going to be around water, you don't really wanna wear powder on your brows. So I'm gonna fill these in really quick and I'll be right back in just a sec. Brows are done. I'm gonna move on to bronzing and contouring and I am still loving this Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette. It's so, so nice. I love it for contouring and for bronzing. So for my contour colors, I always mix these two. It's Princess Cut and Angle, it's the two matte shades. And I take this small contour brush from Sigma. It's my current favorite. I've been using it for a couple of months now. Um, and I really like it for applying my contour. I'm gonna take those same two matte shades on the Real Techniques setting brush and contour my nose with it. And I always extend um, the powder on my nose contour up into my brow. It makes it look a little bit more natural. Next, I'm gonna take a large stipple brush and buff out everywhere that I put that contour color down. I always have to have a stipple brush to blend out my contour, to blend out my bronzer. 
Um, it just kind of eliminates any harsh lines and if a certain area is not blended as nicely as the rest of the face, it really helps out. I'm gonna use the same palette for bronzer and I'm gonna take the two shimmer colors. So I'm gonna take Crown, the darkest one, and mix it with Carrot, which is the lighter one. And then this brush is the MAC 135. And I'm just gonna go on the outside of my face and bronze. These two are shimmer bronzers, but they're not glitter glittery or anything. So um, it really just adds like a nice glow to the face without being too shimmery. I'm going to take my stippling brush again and go over everything. For blush, I'm using one by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Ecstasy. It's a really pretty color for spring and summer. It's a nice peachy pink with a little bit of shimmer, but like the bronzers, it doesn't really have any glitter in it. It's just like nice and glowy. Charlotte Tilbury makes such nice blushes. I have this one and then I also have the shade First Love and they are both really, really nice, long wearing and just really good quality. For highlighter, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. It's so good. I know everybody is has been using this highlighter, um, but it's really nice. It adds a really pretty glow, and the color is really pretty too. But um, speaking of highlighters, I got an email at the start of the VIB Rouge sale from Sephora that Becca has a new shade in their Shimmering Skin Perfectors, and I love Becca's highlighters. They're so good, some of the best, but the new shade is called Dreamsicle, and it's like a vanilla orange peachy color, and I was so tempted to buy it. I didn't, um, I saw the swatches that Becca did. Um, it's like a picture on the Sephora website showing the swatch, and it looks beautiful, but I want to see it in person first, or if any of you guys have seen it, or if you purchased it, let me know how you like it. Is it too orange, is it too peachy, does it look good as a highlight? or is it better as a blush topper? Um, but it's definitely one that I wanna check out in person to see if I might wanna add it to my collection because it looks really pretty online. Now to move on to the main attraction, the Jessie palette by Jessie James Decker and Alexa Persico Cosmetics. This is a beautiful palette. It has the perfect shimmery gold and bronzy colors for spring and summer and they're about to do their third restock on it it's the third one i don't know if it's gonna be the last one but i would assume it is so be sure you check out that link in the description box to enter in your email so they can notify you when it comes back in stock because they do sell out really fast um, and it's just amazing quality and perfect for spring and summer so i'm gonna start with this shade here it's called let get let's get nude and i'm going to apply that in my crease as my transition shade i'm going to bring it up to the brow bone but not all the way to the brow because i want to leave room for my highlight and i always put my transition colors on my lids too i'm using the e40 from sigma to um, place this color down i use this e40 brush all the time like sometimes when i do my eye looks i just use one brush and it's this one Next, I am going to take the second matte shade in the palette. This is called Brazilian Babe, and I'm gonna do the same thing, just apply it a little bit lower, so not go up as high as I did with Let's Get Nude. I bring it all the way in, too, to the inner corner. And then I do some on the outer corner and blend it into the lid as well. There is a little bit of fallout with this palette but there's a little bit of fallout i think with every palette so no matter what eyeshadow palette i'm using i always tap my brush off before i apply it to my eyes to get rid of any excess next i'm going to switch up my brush this is the e35 from sigma and i'm going to go in with a little bit of georgia clay and um, i'm going to apply that to my outer corners and blend that directly into the crease this is a pretty warm brown, and it's very, very pigmented. Very pigmented. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lash line, and I am going to take um, a mixture of Brazilian Babe and Georgia Clay, and apply that to my lower lash line, and connect it on the outer corner. Sorry if my mouth's open. 
<laughs> I just can't help but keep it open when I do my um, eyes, whether it's shadow or <laughs> mascara. Okay, now moving on to the shimmers. I'm gonna start with Golden Girl first, and I'm gonna be applying all of the shimmer shades with this MAC 242 brush. I highly recommend using a brush like this when applying the shimmer shades. I feel like it applies them so much better um, than any other brush. So I'm taking Golden Girl, and I'm going to apply that onto my lids. Now, I'm not using any Fix Plus. I'm not wetting the brush at all and they apply so nicely. And I kind of cut it into my crease and carve it out a little bit just to make it more defined. That's like one application, it's so good. I'm gonna go in on the other side and do the same thing. Carve it out in my crease. And I'm only applying it to the first half of my lid and then I do blend it out in the center, but I mainly focus it on the first half of the lid. I'm gonna go in with one more layer just to really make it shine. Okay, and then next I'm gonna go in with um, one more shimmer for the lid and I'm gonna use Bambi Eyes. Bambi Eyes is a little bit coppery on its own, but when it's blended in with Golden Girl, it makes a really pretty bronze. So I'm gonna focus Bambi Eyes I'm gonna start in the center of the lid and then work it into the outer corner and sort of blend them together in the center. These two together make a really, really um, pretty bronzy color. And then to highlight, I'm gonna take this first shimmer shade in the palette. It's called Here Kitty Kitty and I'm going to highlight my brow bones with this color. This is really pretty all over the lid too. It's a really pretty cool toned shimmer. And then I can connect it in with Golden Girl right there in the center. Or not in the center, but on my lid, you guys know what I mean. All right, and then I'm gonna go back in with my E40 and I'm not using any extra product and I'm kind of just gonna blend it Such pretty colors. Okay, so that's it for the shadow. I'm going to quickly apply my winged liner and my mascara and I'll be right back to finish everything up. Okay, I'm back. I did my mascara, I did my winged liner, and I set my brows. So for winged liner, they, my liner's a little bit heavy today, but sometimes that just happens by mistake. Um, but I always use the Maybelline Gel Liner in Blackest Black. I use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Primer and then the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. This is starting to dry out, so I'm gonna need a new mascara soon. And then to set my brows, I used the Tarte Busy Gal Brows in Medium Brown. I'm still really loving this um, brow gel. I love the wand, how tiny it is, how precise it is, and I really love the color. I think the color works really well for um, my skin tone and my hair. So moving on to lips, this is one of my favorite nude lip combos. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk along with the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in Kim KW. One of my favorite lip combos, I love these two together. Kim KW is too light for me if I don't use a lip liner. So I have to wear it with a lip liner, but it works beautifully with Pillow Talk and it also works really well with Iconic Nude. Um, but these are my favorite lip products, some of my favorites. The Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liners are my absolute favorites. They're creamy, they're long lasting, um, I just love her formula of her lipsticks and her lip liners and I love her color selection. So lastly to finish off the look I'm gonna use my MAC Fix Plus spray. It just sets everything, it helps me to glow, and it gets rid of any sort of powdery look that I may have. All right guys, this is the look. This is the look that I've had on in my last couple of videos and the look that a lot of you requested that me recreate for you guys. 
I love it. It's very Jessie James Decker. It's a really sexy kittenish look that she likes to call it. Um, I just love it. I think it's perfect for spring and summer and it's just a really pretty look that you can easily wear from day to night. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to sign up for those email notifications so that you can snag this palette on the next restock. I'm pretty sure it'll be their last, but it's amazing, amazing quality. It's a beautiful palette for spring and summer, but I wear it all year round. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys again in my next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,